Hey guys, so I keep doing a lot of tutorials just for those stuff to do to your hair when you're at home. So I wanted to go for a different type of curl pattern, but I don't like putting heat on my hair. So I had bought this a while back and I'm going to try them out. I did it one time and um, it came out cool, but it was so long ago. So let's try it out. Okay, so it's nighttime right now. This morning I showered, conditioned my hair only. When I got out, I put a little bit of this in it. Um, not too much because I really don't like when I can't run my fingers through later. Um, and then right now I pretty much just put some water through my hair, sprayed some of the Style Factor leave-in conditioner in there, and put oil the same oil so these are the products I had in my other video too from Frizzy to Defined and this bag comes with um, two different colors so basically they face two different ways so you have one curl that goes this way and one curl that goes this way so usually I'll do one row of this curl one row of that curl one row of this curl just so they don't end up all combining together and being one like big curl on the side so that's what I usually do. Or you could go like purple, orange, purple, orange, but I always just do a full row, full row, full row. Now the reason I um, I don't want my hair too wet is because I'm going to sleep with these and I feel like if your hair is too wet and you put it in these curlers, unless you're going to dry them, it doesn't really dry all the way. So your hair pretty much needs to be clean and I'd say the most damp, if not dry. But I, w I just wouldn't put anything in your hair if your hair is still wet. Go ahead and start from the bottom and work my way up. And I have the bottom cut, so I'm not going too thick. But I probably started a little higher than a lot of you guys would be able to do. Okay, got a big ass head. So I'm just gonna. I'm not going to go too big, but I also don't want to go too small, so I'll probably do like this. So I ended up wetting it a little bit more on my ends because when it was too dry, it wasn't really locking good. So again, this has the hook, put it in the hole, put the hair inside the hook, hold it there and pull your hair through. And then if it goes crazy like that, just twist it and it'll end up going, see, it'll end up going. Okay, so this is it so far. This was my bottom layer. I kind of probably put a little too many because these are super limited and I still have the whole rest of my head. So I'm probably going to go a little bit bigger. I didn't really show you guys the section, like how big it was, so I'm going to show you on this next one too. Sorry about that. Didn't even realize. Okay. So I'm going to grab my next part, which is probably going to be still a little bit thick because I can always divide it more. Now I'm going to get it this little bit wet and come right back. And I'm going to split that in two. Split this in two. So they're about this size. I don't want them too small. So the trick with this 
is you have to put the hook in this little hole, right? When you take these things out, you pinch this so it goes like that and you pull out of your hair. But when you're putting it in your hair, when you're about to tug this all the way through, you want to pinch that side open so your hair doesn't get caught. Twist it a little bit so you can hook it right in there. Pull it down. Grab this, open it, and then pull this through. And I'm going to do that all around those. Okay, so what I also wanted to say a little tip, not only do you want to hold it close to your root when you pull it all the way through, but make sure the hook is facing up so when you do it, you don't really lose grip of your hair. Because I noticed a couple times I had the hook facing down and I would lose some hair. So hook it in there, pull it forward, and then I'll usually push that to my root, grab it with my fingers, keep it like open. <laughs> Don't pay for water. Pay for clean. It's got to dry. You kind of get the hang of it the more you do it. Um, so once I get to like my crown area, I'm going to just start parting it. Instead of going back like this, I'm going to start parting it with rows going this. So I'm going to do a row like this going orange, pink, orange. This is how I'm looking right now. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Now, I'm going to attempt to sleep with this. Um, that's the thing about doing no heat. You're going to have to sacrifice sometimes. We're going to see how this comes out tomorrow. Good night. I'm going to do it from the bottom one. Straighten it all the way out. The side on your root, you're going to grab it like this and go like this and pull it out. So let me feel for it. Okay, I just pinched it and then you're going to pull it out. That way your hair doesn't get caught because if you don't pinch it open, it's going to rip your hair since it has rubber on the other end. And this is it. And we're going to see how they all come out. My hair is hella short. We're going to see how they all come out. So this is how they came out. I took a couple um, pieces and just put some oil in it and like split them in half. But I don't really know how to style my hair when it's like this. So I'm going to probably pull it up so I can have like a curly ass ponytail and then leave some like little ringlets down. But they came out pretty though. My hair is just so short. So. Yeah, but they came out pretty. It was a B-I-T-C-H to sleep with, but you know, if you don't want heat on your hair, that's how you got to go. You got to go that route. So I would just recommend like sleeping on your back. But this is how they came out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I look crazy, but you know, you could probably comb it out and it'd be like more fluffier, but I just don't want to make my hair frizzy. All right, you guys, so I ended up just pulling my hair up, leaving some bangs down. Um, I think it came out cute like this, so yeah, I think it came out really good. So, no heat. No heat. Hope y'all like it.